Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Crisis! Ah! Uh, last time we went and defeated Richard and stopped his invasion of... Ooh, ooh, delicious, shiny. You got watermelon attached. Yada, 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 yada. Eh, eh. Won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, a watermelon, I forgot. Oh, no, I didn't forget about this. No, this is something you I always remembered. <laughs> oh my god, here we got our first attachment, the melon. Oh my god. I'm gonna take those off immediately. I don't want to wear them at all. No. No. Maybe I'll put one on Pascal's head later. That seems kind of fitting for her. Anyways, this time around, we're heading to the meadow with Sophie, who recently got her memories back. So, indeed, she is Sophie. The one and the same, which is also the title we got for her. Coincidence. Not. They do that all the time. What was on that title? What the hell? Oh, she's got a... Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, the one and the same? One and the same. Critical Blade. Yes, thank you. I figured it might be something good like that. Since she hasn't learned her mystic art, first mystic art yet. So, uh, Oh, I don't want to go down there. No, no, no. I want to go to the uh, meadow. And we'll move on from there. Probably get some sort of storyline cutscene at the meadow. Then we'll have to rush back or something stupid. I don't know. Actually, I don't think we have to do any rushing, but I'm not sure. Right now we're rushing to this meadow so we can continue on with the story because... Walking can be boring at times. I might start cutting some of the walking out, but the, the, I won't cut out any progression, but like walking around for side quests and such, I'd probably cut that stuff out. But I, f I feel like I need to show, like, I feel like for a walkthrough to actually be a legitimate walkthrough, you should be able to, w you should actually show every step of the game. Like, not just, like, not skipping around from fight to fight and just doing the, the important storyline stuff. Like, this, the stuff I did at the start of last episode, I don't like doing that. That's, ba that's stuff I don't really like doing. Anyways, Arrested Development. I can't believe it's true. You really are the same Sophie. But it is true. Oh, I know. But there was a part of me that was sure I'd never see you again. It just makes me so... happy. Being able to remember you makes me happy, too. But everyone has grown so big, and I'm still... Uh-oh. She must be bothered that she hasn't developed at all in seven years. Don't you worry, Sophie. Even if your height and such haven't grown, you're still the same old Sophie to us. And such? What else is there? Oh, uh, sorry. And nothing at all. <laughs> um... Uh, okay, we're moving on. This is where we met, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, both times I met you, it was here. What happened to me after I saved you? And what happened before I met you? Where was I? What was I doing? Thinking about it worries me. Maybe I can't remember because it's something I shouldn't remember. Yeah, but you don't know for sure that your past was bad. True. Besides, what happened in the past isn't important. All that matters is right now. Right now. Let's go home. I don't want people to worry. Okay.
Okay, I, I just thought of something. Uh, it, it's not a spoiler or anything like that, but uh, like in the future arc, you have to do like stuff for. It's based on our futures, like doing stuff for our futures. And he just said, uh, "All that matters is right now, like the present." I just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> the power of conviction. Hey, Asbel, do you think Richard will come back? I don't know, but if he does. Lunt will become a war zone again. I imagine the Fendolian army is just waiting for a chance to strike. A war. And if a battle breaks out, there'll be nothing I can do to stop it. I can't possibly protect Lunt against such adversaries. Hmm? Asbel? Don't you like Lunt anymore? Of course I do. I just know now that conviction alone isn't enough. So Lunt will become a war zone? No. Everything will be okay. Well, he's learning that can't do. Oh God! The fluffy sprout or the scuffle bear. What's our motto? Never give up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dual Smasher title. Yeah. Cool. Get out of here, wolf pup. Uh, let's get out of here. And now that we're done that little side scene to help strengthen characters. Character development. We're moving on. <laughs> um, was it Scuffle? Scuffle Bear? I can't remember what the hell it's called. Was it? I looked it up one episode. I looked up the definition of the word one episode. Jeez. I found the medicine and bandages you were asking for, Sharia. Thank you, Bailey. Asbel, what can I do to help? Nothing. We have everything under control. We'd be fools to depend on someone who vanished during our time of greatest need. If help is required, Hubert will no doubt provide it. Bailey doesn't understand. He's probably talking about my decision to join the Night Academy. And he's right. I was gone for seven years. I abandoned my duty and thought only of myself. Maybe I should just leave Lawn for good. You're going to leave again? I heard Hubert might be leaving, too. What are you talking about? I overheard one of the soldiers. Apparently, Strata is displeased with the way Hubert is handling things here. I think they're going to recall him. Recall him? What's Hubert going to do about it? I... I don't know. If Hubert leaves, what will happen to Lant? I have to go see my brother. Asbel, are we all going to be separated again? No, I can't let that happen. She runs so weirdly. Ah. Anyways, can I get anything around here? Let's go take a look. Let's go scavenge the town. I'm not sure what else there might be. Uh, can I get any more pickles or anything from you? Uh, uh, whatever, I don't care. You? Nope. Anything in the closet? Nope. Is dog still okay? Yep. Let's go. Still dead. Okay, I think we are going to go and just continue on. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything that we can do. I don't want to go get the apple tree because I think I'm, I don't really care about apples. Pascal and Malik are here. Hubert's gonna be recalled. What's gonna happen to him? Uh, we should get over there and see what's up. Okay, good input, guys. Good input. Um, 
Let's go take a look, quick look in here. Can you get any pasta? Or is that in the bottom room? Uh, oh, wait. No. Whoa, hey, what the? Oh, I can rest. Cool. Free in! Yeah, it was downstairs, it was. Anything up here? Oh, hi! What the hell? You wanted to see me? I'm quite busy at the moment, so please make it quick. Hubert, I know how angry you must be at you and uh, your father and I. I'm not angry. It's because of you two that I was able to achieve my current position. And what about Asbel? Can't you find a way to forgive him as well? He had no idea that you were being sent to Strata to become an Oswell. After he found out, he was furious. Seven years, and things have changed a bit. You've always favored him over me because that's the firstborn, because he's the firstborn son. N no, Hubert, I tried my best to raise you as equals. As equals? So when you decided to send one of us away, I assume there was a long, somber discussion? Sober? Somber? Sober discussion? Okay. I get to see the two of you spending long, agonizing nights choosing which son to sacrifice. No, Mother, the facts are, I, are simple. I was expendable and Asbel was not. Hubert, please, your father and I, I did this for you. The reason we sent you away is because... Th this is a pointless conversation. Hubert, wait! Don't bother me with such matters again. Oh, God damn him! He's being annoying again. Although he's got a right to do so. Hubert! Hi, doggy! Playful dog's lively eyes seem to be trying to speak to you. Your mother has been caring for me ever since your boys went away. She's been dotting on with as if her own child, woof. But uh, even if I find her to be a bit clingy sometimes, that's when I break out the old quick step and slip on out of there. Just like escaping from a monster. <laughs> ah, see, the quick step. Yeah, using quick steps to evade monsters. I get it, dog. You get calling my mom a monster. That's right. Bad dog. Bad. Hubert, is it true you've been recalled to Strata? Who told you that? Anyway, yes, I've been recalled. The order was signed by the President, so I don't have a lot of wiggle room. I guess Strata's not happy with how things are going. What does that mean for your return there? I'll likely be stripped of my title and never set foot here again. Did you go against their plans for Lon's sake? It's foolish to sacrifice future stability for immediate profits. Even a common soldier such as myself can see that. I... I want you to stay. You've meant a great deal to want. I can see that clearly enough. You have the ability to think ahead and guide our people to a more prosperous future. I don't have the talent for that kind of thing. You're the only one who can protect Lant now. Hubert, please. Surprising words coming from the Lord of Lant. Even if in name only. You don't mind your lands being ruled by a stranger? You're not a stranger. You're my brother. What? I believe you will always act in the best interests of Lant. So all I can do now is help you. If only there was more time. What would you do with more time? I can't solve all of Lant's problems. But I could fix quite a few. At the very least, I'd like to strengthen our defenses. And make plans for an orderly transition of power. Then I'll go to Strata instead. I'll tell them how much you mean to both countries. I don't know if I can stop your recall, but I should be able to buy some time. Do you realize what you're saying? There will be no way to guarantee your safety. If it helps you, I'm willing to risk it. Why are you doing this? Because it's a way for me to protect Lant. I'll write a letter to the President. Bring it to the Presidential Palace in the capital city of Uliberte. So you're accepting my proposal. And be careful around Mr. Oswell. Don't ask for his help, no matter what. Isn't he your adoptive father? 
He is, first and foremost, a businessman with considerable influence in Stratton politics. The plan to station troops here was almost entirely his idea. I see. You're in a tough position, Hubert, and yet you're still doing your best for Lant. Thank you. All right, get going. That letter won't deliver itself. Okay, I'm off. We still control the port that lets you access Strata's mainland. You can get there through the West Gate. Letter to the President! Yay, we're going to have to see the President! Yay! I hope Asbel and Hubert aren't fighting. Sir, may I come in? What? You're asking them to rescind the recall order? What is the meaning of this, Lieutenant? I have entrusted Asbel Lant with a letter for our president. If the order is rescinded, I will remain here. If that is not to be, then at least I'll leave someone behind to continue what I've started. Am I to understand you won't be choosing me as your replacement? Interpret things as you will. Your actions will lead to great losses for the Oswell family. My duty is to Strata. All other considerations are secondary. I am simply acting in my country's best interest. Or do you think the prosperity of the Oswell family should take precedence, Cousin Raymond? My uncle would be saddened to hear you speak such things. It's like taking in a stray dog only to have it bite you. You can say whatever you like. Now if you'll excuse me, I have business to attend to. Does that mean Asbel left already? Damn him! Damn that old star brat! Finally I get a chance to take charge of Lance, and he pulls this! What was my uncle thinking when he adopted him? I'm the one who's working for the good of the Oswells! I must stop that letter from reaching Strata! Oh no! I have to warn Asbel! You there! What are you doing? What? Who's there? Uh-oh. You. Were you listening at the door? No, no, I was just... Ow! Let me go! She's one of Asbel Lant's friends. <sighs> if I were to use her... <laughs> You won't win so easily this time, Hubert. Lame. 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 Let's keep going. Let's go get this over with. There you are. Good. I have a favor to ask. Will you come to Strata with me? I'm going to ask the president to rescind Hubert's recall order. Honestly, it could be dangerous. I don't know how the president will respond. But I... I need your help. So please come with me. I'll come. Thanks, Sophie. I'll come as well. I've hardly done anything to repay my debt to you yet. I'm totally coming. I've never been to Strata. Thanks, you two. Um, has anyone seen Sharia? She bolted off a little while ago. Looked kind of nervousy, too. Perhaps I can be of some assistance. 
Sheria Barnes is currently under my care. What does that mean? She was caught eavesdropping on military secrets. The punishment for this crime is... severe. I might be convinced to grant her a pardon, but there will be conditions. In exchange for your friend's safety, you will abandon your mission to Strata. Hey! You just totally took her hostage! I won't let you hurt Sharia. Now, now. I wouldn't attack me if I were you. Assuming, that is, that you care at all for your friend's life. Damn you. Give me the letter. Do it quickly before I have the girl devoured by monsters. Oh, cousin. To think that you would stoop so low. Lieutenant! You will tell me where Sharia is, and you will do it now. If not... I will file a report for home detailing your clumsy attempt at blackmail. And that's not all. I will also inform them that you attempted to steal an official letter from a superior officer. Whatever you do, please decide quickly. You... you leave me no choice! Raymond! You damn fool! I'll take care of Raymond. Go find Sharia. Hurry! Damn it! Sharia, where did they take you? Well, he just committed suicide. Chicken, what do you think? I want you to see the world map. Okay, they want me to look at the world map. Okay, where's Sharia on the world map? Uh, discovery points. Um, uh, Sharia is not one of the discoveries on the, min on the world map. Uh, what do you want me to do? Okay, you still want me to look at the world map. I don't know if I... That, I don't think that worked last time. I don't think it'll work again. I'm going to have to move on, chicken. Uh, uh, thank you for your contributions. I will see you next time, probably at the start of the episode, because I'm ending it off here. Okay, chicken? Sounds good. Okay, see you guys next time.